Hello. So, uh, recently I tweeted out about how I figured out how to do this thing where when you scroll down past a video or a certain element, the video gets pinned to the bottom right and then you scroll up and then it comes back. Well, let's do this. Instead of new tutorial soon, how about new tutorial now? All right, let's go. So, uh, it took me a while to figure this out, probably like 30 minutes to an hour. But then when I figured it out, I was like, oh, I gotta tell everyone. So here we go. Uh, let me start from scratch. Let's make a new page. And there we go, new page. I'm going to drag in a container. And let's push this container away from the top a bit. Because it looks weird if it's like pinned to the top and all that stuff. But anyways. So we have container two, and then let's like uh, let's put a, another div inside of this, and we're gonna call this the trigger. Ah, see, this is the trick. This you set the trigger to that first thing, so that's what's actually happening. So I'm gonna uh, style this, and you can style this however you want. But uh, yeah, let me give it a color, and then let me give it a font color as well. So background color, font color. And let's put some padding. Let's make it big, like something like that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put in a piece of text. Uh, let's make this text big. I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know, 50? Okay, cool. So this is the trigger. All right, I'll show you how to use this later. We gotta set up our HTML and CSS first. All right, so we have that trigger. And now, under the trigger, but inside of the container right here, let's go ahead and add, oops, come on. I lost my mouse. Come back to me, there we go. Let's go ahead and add a video. Now, you may be, might be thinking, okay, so I'm gonna type in video, and then I'm gonna put my video here. No, this is the problem that I was having, I was like, I'm trying to resize this YouTube video, but Webflow won't let me. So here's what I mean. Let me get um, some video. Uh, my favorite DJ right now is Jovian. So let me get one of his videos. So I have a YouTube video URL. I press enter and there we go, it loads. Cool, so actually for this trigger, let's push it down away, there we go. So here we go. So this video, right? If you want to set a height to it, something like 250, because like when you pin it down to the bottom right, um, the the video has to get smaller in width and height. So I was trying to play around with this and say, make the height 250 pixels tall. Look what happens. Nothing happened. I can't play around with the height. Webflow will only uh, stay within ratio. So if I take this out, now the height is huge. Even though, I, that, even though I have a height of 250, that is definitely not 250, you know? Um, and so the only way to make it smaller in height is if you make the width. Nope. That's what I thought too. I was like, okay, so if it's in ratio, if you play around with the width, it's going to get smaller in height, right? No. So how do you fix this? All right. So the answer is don't you oops, don't use the video uh don't use the video element. Don't use the YouTube element. Use the HTML embed and uh, use the HTML embed element with the YouTube embed code. So for example, nope, not that one. YouTube Jovian, there we go, let me get that. Let me go to that video again. And then if I right click, copy embed code, right? I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to put an embed component and paste that in here, all right? And then here's the next trick. You need to replace width and height with 100% and 100%. Okay, save and close. And there we go, all right? So with this method, we're able to control the width and height of our embedded video much better. 
So I'm gonna set this to 940 pixels because that's how wide this container is. And I'm gonna give it a height of uh, 530. How do I know 530? Because uh, if you make this smaller, look at how the top and bottom are being cut off. But if I make it bigger than 530, watch what happens. Now the left and right are being cut off. So I found it that 530 is the best one. So 940 by 530 keeps that in ratio, All right? So uh, let's call this video wrapper. Okay, so I'm calling this the video wrapper. And inside of it is the uh, YouTube video embed code. And now let's go ahead and add some placeholder text. So I'm putting a rich text block and I'm gonna add some margin to the top so it's moving away from that. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Yeah, paste, blah, blah, blah. there. So I have a lot of room to scroll down, all right? Now that our, uh, yeah, now that our page, our HTML embed, sorry, our HTML structure and our CSS is set, now we get to play with the magical interactions that makes this happen. All right, so here we go. The trigger is selected. I'm going to go here, press plus, and while, uh, sorry, scroll into view. Scroll into view is the trigger that we want. So we're going to go backwards. When we scroll out of view, when this block is out of view like that, that's when we want this video to pin down to the bottom right. Okay. So here we go. Scroll out of view, start animation, and then uh, let's go ahead and make this a small video. Okay, so we're gonna make it small. And then we're going to select video wrapper, press plus, and then let's go ahead and play around with the size. So the initial state of the, si of the size of the video, set as initial state is 940 by 530. And then we're gonna set the size again and we'll set an easing to ease out court. And we'll set this class to all elements with this class, okay? And then we're gonna set the size down here. Yeah, set the size to uh, something small. Let's go, let me see here, 300 by 250, no. How about 420? by 240. Okay, cool. Yeah, 420 by 240. All right. And then we want to set the move. So the move of this is 0 VW and 0 VH. So the X is 0 VW and the Y is v 0 VH. And I'm going to set the move again. And this time we're gonna do, I think it's 52 VW. You can play around with this number, however close or far you want it from the edge. And then 54 VH, okay, not 54. Uh, I'm gonna do 27, but again, it's up to you how close or far you want it from the edge, okay? So we do that and save and let's preview it. Okay, kind of what we want. I'm missing something here. Oh, I didn't set the easing. The easing has to be the same. So, nope, not quart, quint. Has to be quart. There we go. That's what we want. Cool. And now let's go to scroll into view, start animation. What we can do is just duplicate that same thing that same animation, so I duplicated it, I click it, and let's rename it to restore video. And all we have to do is delete the last two steps and then select these two first steps and uncheck or untoggle this initial state. And then set an easing of out court. 
Sorry. <laughs> okay, and so after that, let's try it. And it doesn't work. Why? <laughs> let's see here. I think I messed up. Let me see here. Let me make sure. Okay, let me set this to all elements with this class. Yeah, that's right. And then... Wait, when scroll out of view, small video. Oh, when scroll into view, restore video. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to select these. Restore video set. Let's double check. Um, let me double check the things. All elements with this class. Okay, cool. Let's try it again. Okay, cool. But notice how it's not pinned. All right, it's doing what we want, but it's not pinned. And this is where position sticky saves the day. So we're gonna go to container two, position relative, video wrapper, position sticky, and we'll set that to zero, the top to zero. So like that, and that's it. Preview. And there you go. Wait, was the sticky not supposed to be zero? I think I'm supposed to push it lower on the VH. <laughs> but you see what I mean. Uh, let's let me go here to the small video. Let me double check the move. The move seems right. Hmm. What if I put it down to 74 VH? Let me preview. Oh, okay, there we go. Cool. And that's it. Now, some of you might be thinking, cool, Nelson, but I want to use this for a collection list. Yes, or I mean, not collection list, a, a collection page. Yes, you can do that. You can do that. It's super simple. Check it out. Let's go here and create a, a blog post, but also with a field, a custom text field, plain text, and we'll call it YouTube ID. Okay, so we have all of that, and then uh, YouTube ID. I'm gonna create collection, and I'm gonna create five of these real quick. All right, and for this, what I do is I'm gonna take the, the YouTube ID, and Place that in here, save, and let me delete these other four. Okay, and so now I can just copy this, go to my blog post template, paste that thing in, and just start binding things. So I'm going to bind this to that, and for the rich text block, I'm going to delete them all, except for the that one. And I'm going to bind that to post body. Oh, that's it? That's, okay, let me just copy paste it then. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah. And then for the video, I can just double click. And right here, this is the YouTube ID. I can replace just that part by highlighting it and changing it to a dynamic field from the collection, YouTube ID, and it works just like that. Here, let me let me change it. Let me get a different uh, YouTube ID. There we go. So I got that new ID, and then I'm going to go to my collection, change this field, and so there you go. It's a different one. All right, and it completely works. So if I publish this and test it, nice. <laughs> Why did it do that? Why is it? So if I get to here, it freaks out. Oh man, fail, fail recording. 
All right, let me see what I did on the on the one that I I really did good on. Does it do the same thing? No, it doesn't. Huh. Well then, what did I do different? Let me check. Oh, I set this to 10. All right, there's an offset. Let me fix that real quick. So what I mean is this trigger right here, this offset has a 10. And I think that's what's gonna fix that glitch. Hopefully. If not, then you can just downvote the video right now. I deserve it. Oh, okay. So yeah, you do need the 10. Cool. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll let you clone this. I'll put the clonable link in the description below. But thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if so, thumbs up, subscribe, the bell, all the things. Yeah, but thank you all so much for watching. And as always, make the web view. <gasps> oh, Saturday. Make the web beautiful together. See ya.